think you're going under God's proven time and time again He'll take care of you And He'll do it again He'll do it again Just take a And life is beautiful ministries my little greenhouse over here with all my little flowers that started so small I am about to change my spring colors so I wanted to introduce you back to I named him mr. Lazarus I don't know if you remember this beautiful plant that we had right here that we were saying that the base that we have down here is God and God is the head of everything and the branches that are attached here this is jesus connecting us and we are jesus is the vine and we are the leaves and the branches and i don't know if you remember my mr lazarus i called him mr lazarus because he is alive and well because he died he literally died a well-meaning family member had disconnected him from the base right here this is the base right here. The well-meaning family member had disconnected Lazarus and I had to put Lazarus in a makeshift uh, life support that we made right here. And this is the roots. I put it in this beautiful, this beautiful little vase right here and it's growing. And even though some of them look dark, this is the new base that it got reattached with all the roots. The new base is here. But the point and the matter, look at the beautiful plant. It was dead and now it's alive and it's well and it's growing. Growing so beautifully that even these are coming out here, going to a different corner. I just want you not to forget that when you get a setback, don't take a step back. God is working on your comeback because the plant was disconnected from the base here. And we reconnected it and put it in this very little tiny vase right here. And everything is growing and growing more beautifully and getting back to where it needs to be. So no matter what setback you're going through, no matter what you're going through, as long as there's life, there's hope. God is in charge. Put all your faith and all your trust in him and he will see you through. Um, with God, all things are possible. Even when things seems like there is no way, God always makes a way. God always makes a way. When the man was, the prophet was under the tree and he was going to die and he didn't have any food, God brought a raven to bring him bread, cake, and juice. So just be blessed, be strong. We're going to continue on and go on to let you know that with God, all things are possible. So no matter what you're going through, Stay beautiful, stay blessed. Remember Mr. Lazarus, if he can come back from the dead, then there's nothing in your life. Not your finances, not your, your health, not anything. There's nothing in your life that you cannot get back to let it be where it needs to be. Be blessed and be covered. And we're going to continue on. Mr. Lazarus, alive and well. Hi everyone, it's Dr. Cleopatra Gordon Pusey again with Life is Beautiful MD and Life is Beautiful Ministries. I'm starting out a different way. I am showing you our beautiful Lazarus. You remember our plant that got disconnected from the base? Remember we did a makeshift life support for the plant? This is an orchid that I got inside that I put out here. And when it starts blooming, I'll show you. Well, look at the life support that we made right here. Okay, it's growing a lot of roots. It's literally making it like its own soil inside, but it was just water I placed in there. But look at the progression. You see, this is where the dead branch was. You see it? It's gone. And but look at the look at Lazarus. Look how beautiful it is. It came back, grew back, grew back, grew back, grew back, grew back. 
No matter what you're going through, as long as there's life, there's hope. Look what's happening here. It's growing so big. And the other one, I don't know why it came out here, why it wouldn't last, but look at this one. It is blooming where it's planted. Absolutely beautiful. Look at this. This one was dying right here. This, I put it in some water and now look at it. It's growing, vibrant, beautiful. Look, look what it's doing. These flowers are just taken off. In the midst of all of this, I have my golden flowers. They're not real, but love them. Absolutely beautiful. And it's fall, so something is happening here. I don't understand. If you follow that vine and go all the way up, you see where the plant turned dark? You see up the top here, like it's moving up here? Up top, this is like breaking apart, but even though nothing is on it, look, nothing is on it. The other leaves are from another place. It's falling apart, but that part looked like it's dead, but somehow it's still blossoming. And look, here, look. See, like it's dead up here. It's dead up here, but it's still have life down here. It's amazing. I don't, I don't even understand. But only God knows. Even in the body when you have a stroke or something like that, part of the, like the vines die or your arteries and vessels inside your body die. But God is so awesome. There's something called collaterals. And it somehow has a collateral because it's still getting fed. Because look, like half in between, it looks dead. But somehow, there's life at the bottom of it look the leaves are green and it's still growing and i can't detach it because i don't know what will happen do you see it this is nice nice yellow 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 but right here is brown and literally look like it's dying but some way somehow it's still surviving it's still surviving i'm telling that look at the top look up there see it's literally falling apart but there's enough something in it to keep it going so i just want you to know that he who began a good work in you is faithful to complete it and as long as there's life there is hope as long as there's life there is hope because look at our plant lazarus look how beautiful look this little plant right here you see how tiny it is i'm going to show you something bigger look at this one look how big it is it was that tiny when it started and look how, look how big it is now look how big it is now awesome 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 it was this tiny and now it's this big and that was some years ago i'm telling you that to say that when you can't forsake small beginnings you have to learn to crawl before you can walk and you have to learn to walk before you can run so you can't expect to be this small today, right? And then tomorrow, you be this large. It takes time, it takes effort, it takes work, it takes dedication, okay? But you have to keep on going on and you will get where you're going, okay? Keep on going on and you'll get where you're going. So hi again, it's me, Dr. Cleopatra Gordon Pusey with Life is Beautiful Ministries and Life is Beautiful MD. Uh, I just showed you our plant here, Lazarus, but I want you to know and I want you to remember Philippians 1 verse 6. It says, He who began a good work in you, God who began a good work in you, He'll be faithful to complete it. He'll be faithful to complete it. He who started a work will be faithful to complete it in you. Philippians 1 verse 6. He who began a good work in you is faithful to complete it. I showed you this entire plant. I showed you when the good willing family member disconnected the branches and how it could have died and I showed you how I made a life support and I showed you look at the plant blossoming I even show you here where the vine looked like it's dying 
up top but below still connected still growing still blooming still planted you have to learn to crawl before you can walk and you have to learn to walk before you can run so whatever it is that you're going through it seems like it's gonna take a lifetime but you have to start it only take a spark to get a fire going and soon all those around can warm up in this glowing that's another song but whatever it is that you're doing you have to take your time and do it if someone if you need a managerial position and somebody offers you a secretarial position start there crawl walk run take the simple job and go where you need to go you're looking at someone who went to medical school that was supposed to bring microscopes and books and ponchos and everything money and everything but I took five hundred dollars and bought a plane ticket and another five hundred dollars and went to a foreign land with two white coats no book no microscope no money no nothing and you're looking at a full-fledged physician he who began a good work in you is faithful to complete it if god can take me from that little small beginning and me going on faith to a foreign country where i did not know going on faith trusting and believing that he who began a good work in me is faithful to complete it if he can do that for me he could do that for you god who began a good work in you is faithful to complete it philippians 1 verse 6 Hold on to that, and no matter what you're going through, just remember, he who began a good work in you is faithful to complete it. Be blessed, be safe, be covered under the blood of Jesus, and we love you with the love of the Lord, and we'll see you soon. Be blessed, take care, bye-bye. Dr. Cleopatra Gordon Pusey, the Life is Beautiful MD, and Life is Beautiful Ministries. Stay safe now. Bye-bye. feel down and feel like God Somehow forgotten that you are faced with circumstances that you can't go through. But right now it seems there's no way out, and you're going under. God's proven time and time. Live life to its fullest, put God first, bloom where you're planted, then enjoy the fruits of your labor, and bless those you can, each one teach one. Let's lift each other up and make the world a better place. Be blessed. Bye-bye.